Tatiana, thanks for that. Two fires, two mornings in a row, and now another 10 people are dealing with damage to their homes. Now, the second one happened just a couple of hours ago, early this morning on Milwaukee's south side, and our Jonah Kaplan joins us live now, and he's been able to move his location to give us a break, uh, breaking news update. Hi, Jonah. Yeah, Susan, good morning. Pleasant good morning, everybody. Some of the neighbors here allowed us to come to their backyard so we can get an up-close look at exactly what happened. This is the back of the home here at 11th and Lapham. Look at this. I mean, the entire back side of the house is charred. It's stained by the black smoke and the fire damage. And look here. This is a Jeep, either Wrangler or Cherokee. It is a SUV here that several neighbors here have told me they've never seen before. Police not confirming this information that this would be a stolen car, but neighbors here telling us today that they've never seen this car before. But take a look at some of the video from earlier this morning. This fire sparked at about 3 a.m., and firefighters confirm this turned into a two-alarm blaze because of the proximity of all the buildings. There are three buildings, three homes that are very close to each other, maybe five feet maximum in between each one. And with little wind, they were actually able to contain the fire so that it didn't spread. Without that strong wind to blow the fire over, they were actually able to, again, limit the damage to one house. Still, four families displaced, 10 people now homeless this morning, only one person injured. As we bring it back now, you can see, again, heavily damaged on the back side. This car charred out completely, and neighbors telling us, Again, this they've never seen this car before. This is 11th and Lapham. That second fire you mentioned, the one that happened yesterday, that's only a half mile away, 9th and Scott. And this morning, police were confirming that fire was started by a stolen car that sparked and ignited that blaze. Police not confirming this morning. Let's reiterate, they are not confirming this morning any connections between the two. But, of course, we will continue to monitor the situation and get as much information as we can. And when we do that, we will share that with you on air and online. We are live this morning on Milwaukee South Side. Jonah Kaplan, today's TMJ4. All right, Jonah Kaplan with the latest on a suspicious fire on the city's south side.